I just watched Dead Ringers and oh my, I have to talk about this series. <laughs> just FYI, there are spoilers ahead. Now I'm going to be focusing on the queer relationship in this in this show between Beverly and Genevieve because if I dive into the whole show, it's going to be like an hour and a half long. <laughs> but just know the show is just, it's something else. It really is. I am not even entirely sure what happened <laughs> but we have twins elliot and beverly played by rachel wise who oh my god love her and they're they're into some science stuff in regards to birthing life creation all that sort of stuff it's not i don't even i don't think most of it's legal anyway beverly meets genevieve when genevieve is getting a test done to see if she can fall pregnant because she she wants to eventually i want a baby straight off the bat uh beverly is like like full-on in love <laughs> genevieve is an actress and beverly loves the show that she's on so she's like a fan and like off the top beverly you know, messages her sister Elliot and is like, we need to swap because I can't actually speak around this woman. So I need you to do this for me. <laughs> You're all flushed. Was it too much? Was she too delicious? So really their first interactions are actually between Elliot and Genevieve. So Elliot examines her and then makes some inappropriate comments and was like, look, I'm going to meet you at the bar afterwards and we're going to get fucked up. And Genevieve's like, that's inappropriate. That would be wildly inappropriate. And Elliot's like, yep. <laughs> and so Elliot rocks up at the bar and kisses her, right? She does all this for Beverly because these two, like you need to understand, Beverly and Elliot have the most insane relationship that you cannot explain their relationship their connection it's just next level so elliot will really do whatever she can for beverly she loves her that much so she kisses genevieve for beverly i thought i'd get her for you and then was like look i've got you in you can go meet her at this hotel she's doing a press conference and she's she's waiting for you essentially and that's where the, like the relationship begins now i assume they haven't neither of them have not had like uh extended relationships because elliot's like oh yeah this is gonna be like a one-time thing and then we're gonna move on but beverly gets hooked she is like fully in love with genevieve from the get-go you have the most heavenly face but of course this it just it leads to such a messy toxic awful relationship between beverly genevieve and elliot it's only been you right the whole time I've just been with you. At the start, Elliot's like, oh, this is fascinating. Tell me about it. But then Beverly's like, no, this one's all for me. And that kind of sets everything in motion. Elliot doesn't like not sharing things with Beverly. She doesn't like not knowing. And so she starts to resent Genevieve. Beverly falls more and more in love. They start to get really serious. Like, I honestly, I, I can't quite tell the timeline of this series, but you know, it progresses. There's declarations of love. I love you. They're looking at moving in together. They also want to have a baby together. I want to put a baby in you. Beverly had been trying to get pregnant before she met Genevieve. And obviously we met Genevieve with her wanting to see if she could get pregnant. So, I mean, they're both wanting families. And uh, now that they're together, they, they want to start family together. But there just is this toxic, toxic cycle with Elliot getting in the way of like pulling Be Beverly back. They, they don't know how to be separated. We've literally never been in different cities. It's a fucking problem. And Elliot, you know, is a very, um, what's the right word for Elliot? Abusive, destructive, while also being a complete asshole. She, she causes a lot of shit. Like not just in this relationship, just in like life in general. She finds it hilarious when like shit hits the fan or like she finds it hilarious when people are mad at her. It, I'm just, this show made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I do have to say, like, you know, while I'm on this, like, hats off to Rachel Wise. She, like, freaking killed it as Beverly and Elliot. Like, it, it was hard to remember that it was the same person playing these two people. You know, it, up there with, like, Tatiana Maslany when she was on Orphan Black. And it's like, I genuinely thought they were different 
actors playing the different characters. There's no way it's the same person, right? Like they're that good. That's like Rachel in this series. Now, like I said, the timeline is very jumpy. Like we have Genevieve and Beverly, like they get together the first episode. They're together like throughout the whole series, but the timeline jumps so much that like, obviously the, the focus is on the relationship between Beverly and Elliot. So a lot of the times it does feel like when Genevieve is in the show, I mean, obviously this is a TV show, but she's in it like there for a specific story reason, right? Our whole relationship has been about Elliot. So she was there to sort of progress Elliot's and Beverly's relationship for better or for worse, right? Anyway, moving on. Beverly ends up getting pregnant. So Be Beverly and Genevieve are gonna have a kid. And this is like where Elliot starts to really, really spiral. Some messed up stuff happens in, in the progress. Like sh she was helping Beverly give birth to quadruplets. Is that is that the right word? And like, she goes on like these daydreams and like, uh, hallucinations and stuff like that and she was daydreaming while this like why they were trying to help <laughs> like give this c-section and she ends up stabbing the woman and like damaging her bladder which not great it's a fuck up so then they have this article written about her well there is this article written about her with very damning stuff she takes drugs at work that she spends her breaks in bars the partners that have been financing their welfare center their health center whatever it's called the mantle barter center essentially tells beverly that she has to like disown elliot disown her from the company disown her from her own personal side to save face you need to destroy her so she does that and yeah jumping to the end like i said spoilers 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 it goes into this just messed up spiral they both don't know how to be separated i can't do this without you i don't want to do anything without you <laughs> at least Beverly has Genevieve but in the end Beverly finds Elliot after Genevieve uh is off shooting a movie and essentially was like we were always supposed to be one person right you were always the better better me and essentially like gives permission for Elliot to kill her so Elliot like gives a c-section gets the twins out and just leaves Beverly there to bleed out and die and then Elliot like takes over her life. So she's now Beverly. I just, I don't know how to feel about this ending. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know how to feel about the show because like throughout the show, we've had like these scenes where Elliot was going to church and like Beverly was going to like this counseling session or something saying that her twin had died. I'm here because my sister died. I, this show really messed me up. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to feel about it. It's, yeah, it's super messed up. They had this, like, you know, also as side plots, they had this, like, maid who was, like, stealing all their, like, sanitary stuff. It was gross. And then she ended up, uh, ended up making an art project out of it, which is, like, even grosser. <laughs> the partner, she's a lesbian. I forget. She was off something significant that I liked her on, but she's crazy. I just, this show was not great for my mental health, I don't think. <laughs> but I also could not stop watching it. But you know, like at the end of the day, <laughs> the most important thing, Beverly and Genevieve had like, insane fucking chemistry. It was great. And they had a great height difference. I love them, but I can't even really be super excited about them considering the ending and like the middle and the beginning. <laughs> I don't even know how to process this show. My only like thoughts leaving it is like, be prepared. If you're gonna watch this show, like it's gonna fuck you up. Just be prepared for that. But yeah, I don't know what else to say. Look, if you want something a little bit more upbeat, we've got Maya and Corinna from Station 19. I made a video on them, so if you guys wanted to go check that out to sort of lift spirits a little bit, maybe worth it. Go check out this video here. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Okay, bye.